Hello everyone and welcome back to Bird Nerd. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite birds, the American Goldfinch. These little guys are so cute and are such an eye-catching color, so I thought it was about time I made a video on them. American goldfinches range all across the United States and into the southern part of Canada. They can be found in overgrown areas such as weedy fields, as well as in parks and backyards. American goldfinches are a well-known backyard bird. The breeding males are a bright yellow with a black forehead and black wings. When they're non-breeding, the males are a drab brown and they lack the black forehead. During the breeding season, the females are a lot brighter too, but they do not have the black on their head. Immature American goldfinches are brown on their upper side with a yellowish tint on the bottom side. They also have dark colored wings. American goldfinches are the only finch that molts its feathers twice a year, once in the late winter and once in the late summer. The yellow color of American goldfinches' feathers is caused by the carotenoid pigments in their diet. In one study, researchers found that when they supplemented the yellow pigments in a goldfinch's diet with red pigments, that they grew orange feathers rather than the regular yellow. This showed that the color of an American goldfinch's feathers partially depended on the availability of pigments in its diet. American goldfinches are one of the strictest vegetarians in the bird world. They eat nearly only seeds such as thistle or seeds from trees such as elm. Sometimes during the summer, American goldfinches will eat a few insects, but their diet is pretty much made up of only seeds. At feeders, American goldfinches love niger and sunflower. This diet assists the American goldfinches if their nest is parasitized by a brown-headed cowbird. The cowbird egg will hatch, but the nestling will not be able to survive more than just a few days, since the all-seeds diet is not enough to sustain it. One of the last nesters of the season, the American goldfinch waits to nest until July and can continue until September. Why do they nest so late? Well, in order to be able to feed their nestlings, there has to be a steady supply of food, so they wait until the seed-bearing plants start to produce the most of their seeds. To begin the nesting process, the male and female goldfinches move to around together to find a good nesting spot. After they find one, the female begins to build the nest usually at the spot where two or three branches meet. The nest is built in three stages. The first stage is when the female makes an open cup out of sticks and twigs held together by spider silk. In stage two, she makes a smaller, tighter cup of roots and plants. In the last stage, stage three, the female lines the nest with soft material to make it nice and cozy. The nest is so well made and tightly woven that some may even be able to hold water. After the nest is finished, two to seven light bluish-white eggs are laid. They are incubated for 12 to 14 days until helpless babies hatch. Both parents feed the young, but the duties slowly shift more to the male by the end of the 11 to 17 day nestling period. American goldfinches are acrobatic finches that can easily hold onto and balance on the heads of small flowers or seed-bearing plants to pluck out their food. Sometimes birds will mob predators to defend their breeding territory, but American goldfinches will not join in. Goldfinch mates make identical flight calls, and it is thought that other goldfinches can tell the pairs apart by their calls. American goldfinches often fall victim to diseases that are commonly spread by contamination of food or water. To help prevent this, clean feeders and bird baths regularly. American goldfinches' conservation is low concern. Their population experienced a slight decline in 1966 to 2014, but their global breeding population is an estimated 42 million, so their numbers are doing all right. Well, that is all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the state bird of New Jersey, Iowa, and Washington as much as I did. If you liked this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time on Bird Nerd!